Here we're going to solve the inequality 7 minus the absolute value of 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 3. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to isolate the absolute value expression by adding a negative 7 to both sides. That will leave the opposite of the absolute value of 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to 3 minus 7, which is negative 4. Now I'm going to multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 1. That is going to change the direction of the inequality. So I'm going to get the absolute value of 2x plus 8 is greater than or equal to positive 4. That's after multiplying both sides by a negative 1. So now I'm going to consider substituting the 2x plus 8 in for the x uh, in the pattern that I've left above from the previous video. And so we're, we will see that the absolute value of 2x plus 8 can be greater than or equal to 4 if the 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to negative 4 or the 2x plus 8 is greater than 4. So if I substitute the 2x plus 8 everywhere for the x, and I substitute 4 for the c, I can see that the inequality that we're dealing with gives two possibilities for x 2x plus 8. Either 2x plus 8 is less than or equal to negative 4, or 2x plus 8 is greater than or equal to for itself. Notice that when there is an um, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then the end point or end points of the intervals are included um, for x. So now we solve each of these inequalities, and I will subtract 8 from both sides, giving in the first case, 2x is less than negative 12. And in the second, 2x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Dividing by 2 gives me x is less than or equal to negative 6, or x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So our answer here is the union of two intervals. It's going to be the interval from negative infinity to negative 6 with the interval. And notice that's a less than or equal to. So I should have a square bracket with the negative 6. And similarly, with the negative 2, I need the square bracket because the negative 2 should be included. So it's from negative 2 to infinity. Parentheses on the negative infinity and infinity, but square brackets on the negative 6 and negative 2. You can quickly check that at negative 6, when you substitute in the original 
formula, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, plus 8 is negative 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is exactly equal to 3. If we use a value that is less than negative 6, the absolute value will be less than 3. Similarly, uh, if we substitute the negative 2 uh, into the original, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 8 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is exactly equal to 3. And I'll let you show that if you take a value that is greater than negative 2, the absolute value will actually be uh, less than 3.